Our brain operates by sending chemical and electrical signals throughout millions of cells. This incredible network of small cells allows us to think, feel, and function. My name is Yaron, and I'm the founder of BrainCube, a Jerusalem-based startup aiming to reduce disabilities caused by stroke and neurological disorders. We think of disabilities as an incompatibility between a person and his or her surroundings. If we could level out the playing field in a way that anyone would have access to any space, then the term disabled would no longer be relevant. My name is Morit. I'm a pediatrician and the director general of Aline Hospital, and I do not believe in impossibilities. The story of BrainQ started 20 years ago when my son Lear was born. He was born with a rare neurologic disorder affecting the development of the autonomic nervous system, leaving him disabled throughout his life. When Lear was young, we used to stroll the streets of Jerusalem. He was in his carriage and I was pushing him from behind. I was talking, he was listening, he is a great listener. As a father and a physicist, I was not ready to accept the fact that Lear and others like him would not have a cure for their disorder. So I did what I do best. I started to look for a solution. I knew I had to develop a technology that will encourage recovery of the brain. After a few promising trials, I realized that the mission of BrainQ goes far beyond my own personal journey. Then I joined forces with a group of talented people to make this dream reality. Training to be a pediatrician, I was blown away by the children's ability to overcome limitations. They have this hope that makes you believe that everyone has the potential to realize their dreams. Aline Hospital has been around for almost a century, and as technology progressed, so have we from a biomechanical lab solving problems for specific children to our innovation center creating solutions for the whole wide world. Imagine our life like living in a house with many rooms. One day, for no reason, something blocks the entrance to these rooms. Unfortunately, many people will remain standing in the corridor. BrainQ mission is to encourage people to open doors they never thought to open. Jerusalem is a city with a diverse and colorful community. Adaline Hospital, an Orthodox child from Mea Shearim, will play together with a Muslim child from East Jerusalem. What these families have in common is a desire to create a better future for their children. I wish we could replicate that feeling and create a better world, a tikkun olam.